All right, children. Uh, since we have done this topic before, so I'm, uh, that's why I use the same video. Okay, but the discussion will be different for today. All right. Now, uh, can you see the square here? The square is here. Now, there are 100 squares uh, all together over here. Now, the question is actually, let's say, we, you already know your number bonding to 10, number bonding to 20. You know which, which numbers make 10, which numbers make 20. Similarly, we will use the same method, same idea for uh, number, uh, sorry, complements to 100. Now, let's say I have, um, say, I, I'm just going to give you a simple number first. Huh? Let's say I have, I have nine squares. I have nine squares. I don't know how many more do I need to get 100. Correct or not? Okay. In this case, I'm going to, there are a few ways of doing this. There are a few ways of doing this. Let's say I'm going to okay, take the nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine squares and I want to know the balance so that I will get 100, correct? Nine plus what? I will get 100. Now, how can I do this? There are a few methods. Earlier, we have done the fa uh, fact family right that means i will have my 100 here i'll have nine here nine plus something i'll get 100 right okay the same thing it all comes to the same point okay let's take this away first okay so if i already have nine i want to know the balance correct so from the hundred i will take away the nine i will have the balance the balance here is actually 91 i don't have to count i know there are 90 uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and there's one here. So it is 91. Now, how can I get this? If, all right, not, uh, you, you, won't, you won't have the time to draw the 100 squares all the time, correct? So let's say you don't have the 100 square. How are you going to work on this uh, equation? Very simple. What did I do here? The, I took out the 9, correct? I just... I just took out the 9 from the 100 and I got the balance. I got this number 91, correct? So similarly, when you have this type of equation, I can use the 100 to minus 9 and I will get 91, right? You know, right? Can you see this? Very good. Let's try one more example. Okay, now the next question will be 35 plus something you get 100, okay? That means you have 100. Sorry, your, your answer should be 100, but you already have 35. In this case, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, shade 35. So that's th uh, 10, 20, 30. So I'm going to shade this 30, da, 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 plus another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's a little messy. Just give me a minute. I think this is much better, right? Okay, so I already have 35. How many more do I need to make 100? So I let's count, let's count, let's count and see. Um, that means I'm just going to ignore the 35 and I'm going to count the rest. So there's 10 here, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? There's 60 and another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 60 plus 5 is 65. That means 65, 35 plus 65 equals 100. Now, I can use the same method, right? Same thing. What I did here was I took out the 35 from 100. So how do I translate it into a number sentence? I just do this 100 minus 35. Let's try. Let's try it. Huh? 100 minus 35. Okay. So 10, give 1 to your friend. Okay, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. Isn't that simple? Same thing here. 100, 35, 65. 35 plus 65 is 100. 65 plus 35 is 100. 100 minus 35, 65. 100 minus 65, 35. Now, it all goes back to the same thing. It's actually very simple. 
All right, I want you to try and do the work by yourself, okay? Good job.